Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is also not call me. And yeah, so let's talk about the news. So, yeah, uh, Battlefield 2042, one of the most anticipated games of this year, has been delayed. <laughs> so, yeah, I first heard about this in Twitter. It was trending. I saw it and I was like, oh no, please don't be delayed. And then I saw it delayed. I was like, oh no! Oh, just, just two weeks. Now, am I mad about this? Not really. I, I, I'm, I, I was kind of disappointed because I was really looking forward <laughs> in October 27th. That was the original date, right? I, I don't remember. But yeah, I was really looking forward to play this game. But as, as it got delayed, I kind of realized, you know what? They haven't really shown anything about this game. <laughs> the only thing we saw gameplay of was the leaks of an alpha being out and it was given to like um i guess journalists or some streamers or some like uh, it was given like people uh, decent amount of people got to play it it was an alpha and it didn't really look that good you know um I, and what i mean by that is you know it, it did it didn't look like it was finished it was an like it was like less than an alpha i think it looked like shit <laughs> so yeah it, it got me worried and I thought, all right, maybe they'll show us the real one later. Um, it's already September. The game originally was supposed to come out next month. Where's the gameplay? <laughs> like, where's, where's you know, the beta at least, you know? Like, we haven't even seen this game yet. And this game was supposed to come out next month. Now, I thought I heard there was supposed to be a beta coming out later this month. Um, I think... This week or next week, we're supposed to get, like, um, uh, gameplay of the game. But, like, you know, we didn't hear or see anything. <laughs> like, I, 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 like, all right, I was thinking about this game last week. You know, I was saying, oh, man, I, I can't wait to see the destruction in this game. But then I realized they haven't mentioned or showed anything <laughs> with destruction. Like, can can we even make a hole in the wall? Could, could we destroy an entire building? Like, they haven't really mentioned, you know, how good or how less the destruction will be. Is there even going to be destruction? Like, we've seen, you know, they're going to have, like, um, environmental, you know, dynamic weather. You know, they haven't really mentioned about destruction at all. Like, you know, and destruction is a vital part about Battlefield. You know, Battlefield is all about the large maps, the vehicles, uh, the, how do you say, uh, challenging gun mechanics and destruction, you know? Those are the uh, four, you know, things that make it different from any other first-person shooter games. It what makes it different from a Call of Duty or a Halo. So yeah, I had like an epiphany. Like, wait a minute, they haven't really showed much of this game, and this game is supposed to come out like a few months from now. And you know, it's like, is this another Cyberpunk, or it's just, you know, they're just holding off and you know are waiting to reveal it. I just hope it, that's not the case, because. You know, this this is the only game I'm looking forward with because, <laughs> you know, I can't find an Xbox, so it looks like I'm not playing Halo. I could get it in PC, but fucking A, I'm, I'm, I ran out of space with, you know, with, I, I got to delete a game. Uh, I'm afraid. I don't like deleting games from my PC, so it's, that's, that's going to be difficult. And then there's uh, Dying Light 2. That's been delayed. And, yeah, I got nothing else. I could try uh, what's called uh, Deathloop. I don't know. I wasn't really looking forward with that game, but I'll check it out. But, uh, yeah. I'm scared. Alright, next news. Uh, Nintendo finally has Bluetooth. So, I guess you can finally use your Bluetooth, uh, you know, headphones on the Switch. That sounds crazy to say. Like, oh yeah, this, um, modern device has Bluetooth. It's like, wait, what? Wait, what, what do you mean it has Bluetooth now? It's 2021, 20, like, everything should have Bluetooth. <laughs> or at least, like, wait, why didn't it have Bluetooth before? Wait, why, like, I thought Bluetooth was, like, a, a thing where it, it, so it had Bluetooth, but for some reason, you know, Nintendo's like, oh, we don't know why it's not on, you know, but um, we'll do an update where we'll just release Bluetooth. <laughs> like, it's an update, like, it's not a non-hardware thing. It's, I, I, it sounds crazy, like, like, it sounds like, you know, someone telling me, oh, your VHS has Bluetooth. 
What? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean my VHS has Bluetooth? I didn't use that shit like in 20 years. <laughs> like, what the fuck am I going to go back you know, to use Bluetooth for? Like, what? I'm going to, you know, have my, um, you know, Bluetooth uh, headphones on just so I can re-watch Mulan in VHS. And also other news from Nintendo. Uh, there's going to be a direct happening tomorrow. And yeah, you know, this is like the, the, the third attempt Nintendo insiders were attempting. Like... Uh, they, they they said it was going to happen in the 12th, the 17th, and now the 23rd. And it's like, it's like you know, they, they're acting like, oh, yeah, I'm an insider because I knew it was going to happen. It was like, nah, bitch, you just guessed. <laughs> now, if anything exciting happens tomorrow, like, uh, you know, a good reveal about something, then, yeah, um, I'll edit it and put it in this audio. So, um... Yeah, something actually did happen at that day. So, um, yeah, let's talk about it. So, Splatoon 3 is coming out. Very excited about that. They didn't really give us a real date. I think they said spring 2022. And then there's a new Kirby game. I forgot the name, what it was called. But it's it's 3D World. You know, I'm not the biggest Kirby fan. Uh, I only liked, you know, the, that kart racing Kirby. That was really good. It was called uh, Kirby Air Riders. And, you know, I... I actually love that game. That was a really fun kart racing game. I'm very surprised Nintendo hasn't made a sequel of that. I, like, I, I, uh, this might be really controversial. A bunch of you Nintendo guys might go after me for the, for saying this, but I, I think Mario Kart is so fucking overrated. I think Kirby Air Riders is infinitely way better than Mario Kart, all right? You, you can, you know, I'm, you know, my, my address is probably going to be leaked and someone's going to come and kill me while I was sleeping, you know? So, yeah, this might be my last video. <laughs> and then after that, they finally showed Bayonetta 3. How, how many years was it when they revealed, oh, yeah, we're making a Bayonetta 3, and I think they gave us, like, a teaser. I think it was, like, three years, I think. So in that trailer, they finally gave us a release date. Now, it wasn't a specific date, but they're saying this game is coming out next year, 2022. Now, uh, you know, they showed off some good, um, you know, reveals. But this is Nintendo Direct. There's got to be a few shitters here. And there was. Uh, <laughs> uh, Nintendo is selling us a Nintendo 64 controller where you can play the Nintendo 64 games. But you got to pay a subscription. So... You, you gotta buy the controller that's gonna be $59, $49, and then after that, you have to buy a subscription to play the games? You know, I could just pirate them. Oh god, I'm gonna get killed. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's like, you know, why pay subscription? I already bought the controller. What the fuck else am I gonna do with the controller? You know, like, what, could I, I'm not going to play this controller. I don't even like this controller. <laughs> like, why not just add it to the Nintendo Online? Because, you know, there's no reason to get a Nintendo Online. <laughs> my, my dumb ass gets it. But, yeah, you know, it's like, if you just want more, I mean, you just should just put it with it, you know? Like, you know, it's just, it, it's puzzling. I, I don't know why they made a subscription, because they want more fucking money. All right, so... Yeah, after that, they showed a, a Chocobo GB. It looks exactly like Mario Kart. It, it looks like a carbon copy. It just, they replaced the characters and switched with uh, whatever the Final Fantasy chibi version of those characters in there. You know, like, I, I you know, it's like, I, people were begging for a new um, Mario Kart game. And they just get this, you know. It's just, like, anyway, I don't really care. You know, I, I don't like i don't even like mario kart you know like i said i thought you know kirby uh air riders was better all right so the last thing i want to talk about in this direct is the mario movie cast so in this direct they revealed the voice actors that's going to be in this new mario mario movie produced by uh illumination and yeah it, it was it was very surprising i was laughing my ass off uh seeing that <laughs> All right, so let's name the cast members. So Mario is going to be played by Chris Pratt. Luigi is going to be played by uh, Charlie Day. Uh, Princess Peach is going to be played as Ani Taylor-Joy. Bowser is going to be played as Jack Black. Donkey Kong is going to be played as Seth Rogen. And Toad is going to be played by Keegan-Michael Keel. Look, man, <laughs> I had a good laugh at this cast. 
oh man, even if the movie was bad or not, I had fun <laughs> just laughing at this cast. But anyway, um, so yeah, it's funny. So I think there's going to be two routes for the cast to choose. You know, either they're going to be as accurate as possible to sound like the characters they're going to be playing as, or they're just going to do their interpretation. They're not going to be the same characters we all know and love because, you know, most of these characters, they... They, they, they barely have any dialogue. Ha have you even heard, you know, uh, uh, one of these characters say a sentence? Yeah, maybe Princess Peach, but, you know, that's it. Like, there's not much dialogue, you know. You know, like, Mario has been saying the same shit for over fucking 80 years or however long <laughs> this franchise has been alive. It's -a me, Mario. That's it. And he's paid billions of dollars for that shit. <laughs> This is an Italian icon. This man, this man right here, and I know for a fact that a lot of Italians are kind of low key mad. You know, they 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 were hoping for at least somebody Italian. You know, I think Chris Pratt is Italian, but you know, you know, like when whenever you talk to white people, you know, they say, "Oh, I'm Irish, uh, uh, French, Italian, uh, German, uh, Polish, uh, Norwegian." And Russian. It's like, you know, it, 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 it's like, yeah, I'm like 2% uh, Italian, you know. So I think Chris Pratt is Italian, but he's like, I guess, mostly Norwegian or something like that. And then Charlie Day, I heard he like, he's he's mostly Irish, but I guess he has a little bit of Italian. So, yeah. Now, Charlie Day as Luigi. That is the most I want to see this movie so fucking bad. I want to see how he's going to perform as Luigi. It's going to be funny as shit. I love him in Sunday Day Philadelphia. So I'm hoping he, he has a little bit of that uh, char that Charlie character from that show and put it <laughs> in Luigi. It's going to be funny as shit. I hope they're going to do this. Now, Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong. <laughs> like, uh, why him? Like, that's, that's, that's uh, how I know for a fact that these characters aren't going to be the same characters, you know? So I think Donkey Kong is going to be the stoner character without being a stoner. <laughs> like, they're not going to show Donkey Kong smoking weed and shit. He's just probably going to be a chill and laid-back character, you know? And, you know, occasionally he'll laugh like Seth Rogen. Now, Anya Taylor-Joy as Princess Peach. Yeah, <laughs> I could see that. I, yeah, you know? You know, um, I was, I was uh, like, years ago, I was watching, like, um... What's his name? Fucking uh, nostalgia critic, where he was talking about the comics and shit. I think they're gonna, ha she's gonna be that character from the comics, where she's, she's not just you know damsel of distress. She's trying to leave and shit, and you know, like I think she's gonna be that character, you know, from the comics. You know, that would be really exciting. You know, I I actually like Anya Taylor Joy. You know, and you know, it's possibly you know they're gonna do that because. You know, I, I don't think they're just going to have her there and, you know, just say the lines, oh, save me and shit. No, she's going to say some shit. <laughs> I, most likely, she's going to get taken by Bowser. Like, what is she going to fucking do? Just sit there, you know, just in the towers and wait for Mario? No, they're going to have scenes with her, you know, doing shit too. So, yeah. So, yeah, very excited about this. But my only concern is this is being made by Illuminations. Now, I'll talk about that part in a, another video maybe when the trailer comes out and I can tell you guys why I'm concerned because it's made by Illumination but uh yeah I just don't like most of their movies uh but yeah you know um this could either be shitty as fuck just like every other video game adaptation movie or this could be just mid you know just just mid I'm, I'm not even like oh yeah let me just ch let me check the director all right so i checked imbd i have no idea who these guys are they made some episodes of of cartoon shows that's about it so yeah i'm still concerned like if it was made by the the same guys who directed uh the lego movie like um what's what's their name uh chris miller and phil lord i i would be fine you know i would think okay they're 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 trying all right they're trying to make this movie good so that's why they get competent directors um, could this be like the Lego movie? I don't know. I, like, okay, I don't want to talk too much. I'll save it for when the trailer comes out, and I'll talk even further. But uh, yeah, <laughs> these this was really surprising to see in a in a direct. You know, a, a lot of people were really confused when they announced this shit. But uh, yeah, it's coming out twenty twenty, 
and I just can't wait to see hear more information and see the the trailer. You know, so um. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me Twitch, 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 and Twitter. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you later. Bye.